Hi, Big God family. I hope that you're having a great Friday. Um, if you're in the Brunswick, Knoxville, Rosemont area, we have our teddy bear hunt going on right now. And it's kind of a, a fun thing that you and your family can do and it's safe. You just stay in your car and kind of drive around the neighborhood on the teddy bear hunt. We had a great time. The Bishop family had a great time. Um, tonight's book is called The Bad Seed. And it's a great reminder that it's never too late to change. This is written by Jory John. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes the bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands. Guys, that's not good right now. Everybody wash your hands all the time, everywhere. Bad seed. Or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Yikes. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag and everything went dark and then, then, a giant. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah, patoot. But I was split out at the last possible se uh, second. I flew the through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a big thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside, a wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I had become a different seed entirely. I had become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friendly to nobody. I was bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can and I didn't care. It suited me until recently. I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen, and I still show up late, and I talk during the movies, and I do all other kinds of bad stuff, but I also say thank you, and I say please, and I smile. And I hold doors open for people, not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is to keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not so bad anymore. I heard that. I love this book because it's a great reminder that even though sometimes we do the wrong thing, we can all work to try to be kinder and more gracious, to share love and grace with everybody. And I think especially when we're stuck inside in this time and we are only with our family, it's easy to get on each other's nerves and be a little bit of a bad seed. But remember that that's not who you really are. You have love and grace in your heart and you can share it. My hope and prayer for you tonight is that you'd sleep well. Good night.